We really got first rounded in our first season in the post Siakam era, but this offseason should be crazy, especially player progression with the young studs we have. As Zach Levine retires, Ben Simmons finally retires. Wow, he made it longer than I thought. This is the 2031 offseason, man. We are that far into the future. Who's going to win the lottery? The Pistons. This is the team with Siakam on it. They got Cade, Siakam, and Aiton, and they just won the lottery. They have the first overall pick. And of course, there's a LeBron James comparison in this draft class. Tim O'Connor, 6'10 from Northwestern. 19 years old bro the pistons are about to add a lebron james type player to their lineup along with the a lineup there i just saw a kobe bryant hold on this dude has a kobe bryant ceiling rj irving well we have pick 29 so we'll see if he falls to us tim o'connor the lebron james goes to the pistons they did not mess it up let's see if that kobe bryant comparison is available it doesn't look like it i'm gonna go with this josh erickson dude he has an all nba ceiling with a floor of being a starter this tim o'connor dude's already an 80 overall as a 19 year old rookie 90 driving dunk he's 610 mind you almost an 80 ball handle and he has an 85 speed bro bro the rj irving dude almost fell to us we were three picks away from getting the kobe bryant comparison so we got some decisions to make by default we don't accept dyson daniels team option of 33 mil i'm gonna go ahead and accept it anyway because he is a big part of our team he is 28 though but dude the progression of anders and damian edwards and Buzelis maybe could still go up. This free agency class features that Michael Jordan comparison, who's also 6'10". Look at his stats. He is a restricted free agent. I wanted to trade for this dude, but they didn't let him go. But now he's a restricted free agent. Finals MVP, Ding Patel, is an unrestricted free agent. We have nothing to do with free agency, though. Our roster is pretty much intact. We're going to go to player progression right now. And I am seeing more red than I anticipated Ronnie James going down one at age 25. Anthony Black going down. Jaden's already 30 years old. Damian Edwards went up three, though. That's what I'm talking about. Anders went up two. Those are our two studs to build around for the future. I expected Bronny to be a part of that, too, but he's going down. Also, we need a center. Bull Bull and Wiseman are gone. I didn't even notice. We are lacking a center. This dude's 24. Maybe this Erickson dude we drafted could play center. Welcome to the 2031-2032 NBA season. Question is, is our dynasty over? I mean, we still got a solid team. We got like nine players, 80 overall and above. And the CPU automatically signed us some players like Derek Sims. 7-2 center, I'll take it. Worst comes the worst. Damian Edwards is 7-1. He could play center, bro. Let's see where the big name free agents went. Jabari Smith back to the Clippers. Cody Williams back to the Warriors. The Michael Jordan dude went back to the Raptors. Bro, there's another Luka dude. Luka Sevic signed to the Lakers. He's even from Slovenia like Luka. Is this dude a 6'10 Luka, bro? Ding Patel went back to the Clippers. I'm looking through the free agency pool to see who didn't get signed. What's a set? Aaron Bradshaw's here. Yeah, we get Andre Stojakovic, Peja's son. He could be a sniper for us. Okay, I might cook with that. Does he want a minimum? Oh my goodness, he wants a very cheap contract. Is this like a partial rebuild or are we still contending? Our lineup is now Anders, the Magic Johnson comparison at PG, Bronny at the two, Buzelis at the three, Damian Edwards at the four, Baggy Yoka's our starting center. We got some nice bench players like Dyson Daniels, Anthony Black, and Jaden McDaniels, Hugo Gonzalez, Derek Sims, this dude we signed randomly. My boy Lonzo went to the Celtics, 33 years old. He's still an 85 overall, bro. The defending NBA champions, they got a, dude, they got a deep team. Kyrie still hooping at age 39, but this might be his last season. The Pistons with a 90 overall Siakam, he didn't retire yet, 37 years old. Cade, Aiton, Garnett. And this LeBron James dude. All right, power rankings still have us first in the league. Let's see what happens in this season. Can we go back to the championship? We're at the trade deadline. Everybody's expiring. We got a lot of expiring contracts. Let's make some trades, maybe. We might take a chance on Alex Sar, man. 85 overall, 26 years old. He's a stud defensively. 
He's been on the block for a while. There's five offers for him that the Pelicans like. Don't want to give up Buzelis. McDaniels and Hugo Gonzalez. We also get AJ Johnson in return. This is what I'm considering. Because McDaniels is 31. Hugo, I mean, and Hugo's on a one-year deal. Dyson and a first. And the Keel Alexander Walker. Dyson has a 99 steal. Anthony Black and Derek Sims. Or Buzelis and Sims. Honestly, these are our only wing players other than Buzelis. We're gonna keep McDaniels and Gonzalez. I'm gonna get rid of one of Dyson or Anthony Black. If we trade Jaden and Hugo, we don't have any backup wings, bro. Anthony Black has that glitchy jumper. We know what he's about. I'm gonna do Alex Sar for Dyson Daniels. It's been a nice run, Dyson, but we need a center. Now we got Anders, Bronny, Buzelis, Damian Edwards, Alex Sar, Anthony Black, Jaden McDaniels, Hugo off the bench. Let's continue the simulation. SGA wins MVP. This is his second MVP award. Rookie of the year goes to LeBron James comparison. Gregor Logan, sixth man of the year. Okay, that's a pretty good stat line. Wemby, another defensive player of the year award, his seventh. Most improved is Logan as well. Cody Williams, clutch player. Coach of the year, our coach. All NBA first team, familiar names. This Nolan dude made all NBA second team. Two Warriors made all NBA second team no tropics on any team we finished the season 63 and 19 best record in the nba so this is a good sign maybe we could go back to the championship ronnie led our team in scoring almost 20 points per game 7.7 assists then buzelis anthony black thank goodness we didn't trade you anders 15 points a game okay hugo as well baggy yoga scored more than alex sar but alex Sar put up more rebounds and more blocks at least we got Baggy Yoga as a good backup then. Also, Damian Edwards has been a little bit disappointing. How are you shooting 40% from the field as a 7-1 power forward? We have to simulate the play-in. We do have a possibility of facing Siakam in the play-in. Bro, we are facing Siakam in the first round as they win the play-in. They got Johnny Flanders, LeBron. They got Porzingis now? I guess they traded Aiden for Porzingis. Let's see what happens in this revenge series for Siakam. We got first rounded in the previous season. Looking for redemption in this season. We sweep Siakam. Send him home. Facing the Knicks in the second round. They got Brunson, Ace Bailey, Carter Knox, Payton Watson, Aiden. Yep, they did trade Aiden for Porzingis. We should be able to get past New York. Let's get back into contention, man. We're heading into the conference finals, undefeated, facing the Philadelphia 76ers with Maxi Grimes, Powell, Cooper Flag, this Munoz dude, this 86 overall off the bench is Joel Embiid, a 79 overall at age 38. That is unfortunate as we lose our first game of the playoffs, bounce back in that one, bounce back again. It's 2-2, two 3-2. Two, and we move on back to the NBA Finals. And we are about to face the Warriors. But Buzelis won East Finals MVP. He gets an upgrade. Buzelis is leading our team now, I suppose. Let's see what his upgrade is going to be. Oh my goodness, this isn't fair. This is not fair. Plus one to all shooting badges. He was already a demigod, bro. But now with this upgrade, Hall of Fame catch and shoot. He didn't even have that many shooting badges. Now you're going to have all of them at least on bronze or silver, man. That is insane. As we are in the NBA Finals facing the Warriors post-Steph Curry era, they are led by Dylan Harper, it seems like. Maybe Cody Williams. And this team, they got Taylor Hendricks, Gafford. We should be able to beat this team. Simulate through game. Simulate through another one. They take it. We take game three. We are up three to one. Let's hop in. Let's see what player we're going to be playing as. Hopefully it's someone new and it's going to land on it's my choice. I'm just going to go ahead and go with Alex Sar. I think it's nice to play with new players and keep it fresh. Let's dominate with Alex Sar. Let's get him tier three upgrades in the process because he's going to need some big upgrades if he's going to be a part of this team in the future. Six rebounds, double it for tier two upgrades, triple it for tier three upgrades. Here we go, man. Seeking our fourth championship in existence as the Flint Tropics playing as newly acquired Alex Sar, bro. Be sure you subscribe and turn the bell if you're new here, man. Leave a thumbs up. 2K25 around the corner. You know I'm going to play that. Good pop by Sar. Pull up mid-range. Off the mark. It's Morgan, dude, to the cup. He just made that tough layup like no one was there. The cut. 
Anders inside, back to me, pump fake. Let's take him off the dribble. Alex Sar spins, tough lay. Screen for Dylan Harper, I jumped, but off the screen he hits. Uzelis loses it, I'll pick up the loose ball. Sar with the blow by, back to Buzelis. I got a mismatch. Alex Sar in the post, dominate, drop step, easy slam. Double screens for Cody Williams. Oh, I read that pop too. Can Garuba even shoot? I don't know, but met up top by Buzelis. Cody Williams with the board. For God, this is a rebounding challenge for Sar. Let's get this one then. There we go. I'm cross mashed onto Dylan Harper. To Cody Williams off the screen. Pull up top of the key. Rattles in. How am I supposed to get boards if they don't miss? Back on the elbow against Garuba. The spin. Garuba looks like he's holding his own. We missed the layup, get our own board and put it back up. We're just stat padding. This Alvarez dude is posting up Damian Edwards. Now sets the screen as Harper goes baseline. Alvarez. I don't know what that jumper was, but we got the board. To Damian Edwards. Put it up, Bronny. Shimmy fade away, Bronny? I got board. And put it back up, Sar. Aruba 2-1. That's the fire. He can shoot threes? He really made that? Free the line, Sar. Spin this way. Hit him with the fadeaway. The step through. Give it to Anders. Back to me. Last second shot out. Oh, dude, I have all eight points. Sar is going crazy. We got him. Edwards, top of the... What a find by Sar. I think they're starting to double me already. What is that jumper? I don't know, but uh, he got it off and hit the train ball. Got a free throw line. Are they going to double me? As I spin this way. Fade away. Step through. Buzelis pop out. They're too focused on me. I got bored if you miss. Ah, I didn't bounce my way. Alvarez pull up oh, again. Misses that one. I'm the point guard. I'm the point guard. Oh, look at that behind the back. Hey, Pascaruba hop step. Dunk on him or just go up 10 points. No way he hits that. Oh my goodness. This dude hit the side of the backboard. Garuba. That's embarrassing. As Sar takes it coast to coast. Bro, Sar has 12 and 8 already, bro. Yo, what a pickup he was. As we're up by 7 early in the second. Becker now off the screen over Anthony Black. They really are the new Splash Brothers. Uzella's off the screen. This Becker dude is like 5'10", Anthony Black. You gotta go up on him. Good screen here for Buzelis. I got bored. I got bored! Sar again! Screen for Harper. We'll switch it. Gafford inside. Loses it. Buzelis. Take it coast to coast. If you miss, I got bored. He draws the foul. Give me that. Stolen by Sar. Edwards, I see you. Edwards! Yo, Sar is doing it all, bro. He might get double tier 3 upgrades for completing the challenge and winning finals MVP. Becker pulls up off the screen. 10th rebound. And now I got this 6'10", I mean this 5'10", do it on me. Doubles here, doesn't matter. Left-handed hook, my goodness. Got Gafford on me, behind the back. Oh my goodness, Sar. We draw a foul. We're literally unguardable off the dribble, too. Harper to the cup, blocked by Sar. They call a foul on Buzelis. Screen for Anthony Black. I'm popping. Pump fake. Step through. Cutting Buzelis. Off the face of Gafford. Drawing a blocking foul. He's unstoppable. They're really playing like the Globetrotters on him. Harper rolls up over Bronny. They really got the new Splash Brothers here, dude. He shot that? Yo, if he made that, he's really taking notes from Curry, bro. As now he's matched on to me, though. Never mind, it's even worse than I thought. Hook shot with the right over the double, not that time. Hand off to Anders, spins towards the middle. Gives it to Bronny. I got you with that brick wall screen. Rolling. Garuba reads it. The Warriors are making a push. Harper didn't pull up for three that time. But Garuba for three. I left him. And he ties the game. Garuba the screen. Switch it. Becker. Attacking me. 
Nowhere to go. Harper for the bailout. In and out. I was about to say. Screen here. Fade away. Anders off the screen. Good shot. As Sar subs out, it's tied at 38. It's kind of low scoring despite Sar's performance. Two minutes remaining, down by two. As Bronny on the inbound gives us the lead now. Elbow. As Anders is going to pop up of all the screens. Wide open. Good play. Three, two, Williams for the bailout. Of course he hits a 95% smothered. Screens for Anders again. He's freed up. He gets picked up though this time. Bronny gets the offensive board. Whose ball is it? Their ball. And off to Williams. Williams off the screen. Muzelis gets the steal. I'm running. Let's get back into this game. Sar with point number 20. See the screen inside. Becker popping out, Sar pokes it, lose, doesn't get the steal. Williams corner ball, though. They are drilling three after three. We cannot score right now. Screen inside, Buzelis pops out. Buzelis, as I'm slipping the screen and getting another bucket. I got 22, bro, someone help me out. Harper screen. Go popping Alvarez. He missed. Finally, I've seen a miss. Now we got a mismatch here in transition. In the paint, make the right play. Cut, Edwards. Edwards, you're gonna cut. Edwards, you're gonna cut. Thank you, Edwards, about time. Screen inside for Anders, it's there. What a play. Sar's gonna rack up the assist now. I see the screen, playing it. I see him popping up. I'm playing everything, no way. He pulled that, in and out. Make the play, Anders. I'm open. They're leaving Bronny. Make the wing three. Double screens for Bronny. There we go. Get some offense going. It's a one point game. Bronny again. They're leaving him open. Bronny. An offensive onslaught here. Bronny setting the screen for Anders, who pulls up for three off the screen. That's a tough shot. Tie game. I see that. Recover, bro. How did I not get that steal? It's going to Garuba. Give me that! What a block! He thought he was open. We're inside now. Go up and draw the foul. I'm not worried about Garuba popping. Give me that steal. We missed it. Hendricks giving all the room. Dude, why are we giving him so much space? Can I give this to Edwards? Oh my goodness, what a pass to Edwards. Now Williams again for three. Misses again. Buzelis running this time. Buzelis draws the foul. Sar subs out. He led the run. We are up by six late in the third. Fourth quarter, two-point game. Championship is on the line. Let's see what they do when I get in the post. They're doubling. No, were they doubling? I don't know, but Buzelis is attacking. Someone go up. I got bored. Bronny draws the foul. Dude, no steal with this spacing. Give me that steal. Sar steals it. Anders in transition. I got bored. If you miss, he doesn't. Aruba pops out deep contested. That dude, what? He hit that? Screen for Bronny towards the corner. Open mid-range. Bang. Bronny coming for that finals MVP. Give me that steal. Whoa, did you see that glitch? It teleported him under the hoop. That's tough. Buzelis cutting it. I see him. What a pass. Buzelis dunks it down. Assist number eight. Garuba pops out again. Pull up three off the dribble. See me. Sar. Pull up. I wanted to pull that so bad. Spin baseline. Oh my goodness. Hey, thank you. Give me the foul. Give me that. We poke his Sar. Gets the steal. Sar in transition. Hey. Screen for Harper. I jump too. Thank you for getting the board. I'm pushing the ball now down the court. Launch strides. One, two, 30 piece. We have a five point lead. Bronny shoots that. I wormed him. I got bored. To Buzelis. Buzelis shoots it. Oh, that came my way too. We didn't have to shoot that so early though. 45 seconds. We're up by five. Harper to the cup. Draws a foul. 
Need a bucket here. Sar with the ball. Bronny pops out. Use the screen, Bronny. Bronny. To a rolling star under the hoop. Morgan. To Alvarez. To Harper. Hoist one. It's a two point game. Bronny at the line. It's the first. And one more to make it a two possession game. He does. No one's open. Alvarez to Garuba. He gets an and one? I couldn't block that. He misses the free throw. Someone get the... Yo, if we didn't get that board, that would have hurt us. Uzelis. It's the first. Uzelis. They got no timeouts. This one could potentially seal it. Two possession game. 12 seconds remaining. We're about to win the championship. Morgan rises up. In and out. Three. Two. Our fourth championship in existence. And they it, the new NBA champions. All the games, wins and losses. The emotion, the exhaustion culminating into tonight. The celebration is here and this place is going crazy. For here is Adam Silver presenting the Larry O'Brien Trophy. Sar 34 20 and 8 three steals a block first season with the team and i'm pretty sure he just won finals mvp here is sars tier 3 spin for completing the challenge of 12 plus rebounds and he's gonna get plus 20 to his athleticism plus 20 athleticism star plus 20 speed from a 70 to a 90 that's crazy the tropics have won the championship Bronny James won MVP. Bronny James gets a tier three spin. Did they not hand the SAR the finals MVP trophy? But plus 20 athleticism for Bronny James. Bronny, we already gave him 99 speed. Let's give him plus 13 speed of ball to a 99. Plus five acceleration to a 99. Plus one speed to a 99. And we got one more plus one vertical to an 84. Are we even better than we were before?